Today I'm going to show you how to enable the Innovation Studio Asset Console and Ticket Console in Smart IT. The first step we're going to do is to enable the progressive views. For this, we need to log into the Meet tier. Once we're in there, we're going to click the Applications menu, then select the Administrator Console and Application Administration Console. In here, we're going to select the Custom Configuration tab, and then we're going to click on the Foundation option, Advanced options, and in here, we should be able to see the Progressive Views configuration. Let's open this one. And in here, we're going to enable the Progressive Views. In my case, it is already enabled, but if this isn't your case, then you need to check this option and hit the Apply button. Once we have this option enabled, then we're going to close this. And uh, the second step is to validate that the Innovation Studio URL is correctly set. For this, we need to go to the centralized configuration again uh, in the mid tier. So we're going to click the Applications menu. Then we're going to click on the AR System Administration then AR System Administration Console. In here, we're going to click on the System option, then General, and then Centralized Configuration. Since we're enabling these new consoles in Smart IT, we need to select the Smart IT component and then the Star. In here, if we scroll down, we're going to see the innovation underscore suite dot base dot URL parameter. In here, we have to uh, make sure that the Innovation Studio is correctly set. Then um, we need to enable the asset and the ticket console. This again has to be done in here in the centralized configuration in the Smart IT component. So in here, uh, if I scroll up, I can see that we have these options right here. So the ones that we're interested in is the Enable IS Asset Console, the Enable IS Calendar, and Enable Shared Ticket Console. In my case, these options are already in here, but uh, if this isn't your case, you can click on Add. A new record will be added and in here manually you can type in the setting name and the setting value. Uh, for this we need to have all three settings uh, set as true. In my case they're set as false so I'm going to change it to true. And then I'm going to hit the apply button. This can take a few seconds to save. Okay, so once it is saved, we can uh, quickly confirm that all three options are set to true now. So we're going to close this. So the next step that we need to do is we need to confirm that the licensing for the shared component library and shared services library is correctly set. For this, we're going to click the add or remove licenses option. And in here, we're going to scroll down. We're looking for the uh, com.bmc.dsm options right here. And the ones we're looking for is the share services lib and the share component lib. Um, in here, we need to set the value to one. In my case, it, it is already set. If this is in your case, then you need to set this to one and then you can uh, click the save button and the close option. For the next step, we need to go to the Innovation Studio. In here, we're going to click on the Application Launcher, then ITSM Application. And then we're going to go to Settings, Screen Configuration, and Manage Views. In here, we're really interested in the Asset Console and IT Ticket Console ones. So for the Asset Console, we're looking for the Default Asset Console SM option, so we're going to select it and click Activate. And for the IT Ticket Console one, we're looking for the uh, Default IT Ticket Console SM. We're going to click Activate and we get a confirmation message. These are all the steps that we need to follow to enable the new consoles in Smart IT.
So let's go back to the Smart IT app so we can take a look at how are the consoles showing now. If I go to the ticket console, we can see the new style is showing up. And if I go to the asset console, we can see the same. This will be all on today's video. Thanks for watching.